Hello, sports fan. This is Stephen here with Sports Choice Plus. I'm bringing you a very special breakdown. I'm going to be covering the Jacksonville Jaguars taking on the Houston Texans. Before I get right into that, I want to make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel so you can get all the updates and all the breakdowns. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Coming off this game here, you saw that C.J. Stroud had a pretty good game against the Cardinals. He's carrying on this rookie season, and you're seeing exactly why he's in the middle of a lot of MVP conversations. Having the Texans with a, a over 500 record, having them in the playoff hunt, being his first year, being the leader of the team, he's slowly but surely putting together a great first year resume for not only rookie of the year, but potentially getting some votes for MVP. You're looking at on the other side, how the Jacksonville Jaguars did have a pretty good time putting away the Tennessee Titans. And you're looking at a Jaguars team where, you know, Calvin Ridley went off last week. We're normally used to seeing Eatney go off or Kirk go off. But this week, Calvin really had his chance. When you're looking at the opposition and you're looking at the Texans, the Texans are more aggressive than the Titans are on defense. The Titans defense has been decimated by injuries, trades, and also lack of, uh, of passion when they play. So when you think about this, they went up and they had a game against the Titans, but what are the Titans right now? They're not really a playoff team. They're not a contending team, and they don't have a quarterback that's justified to be an NFL quarterback right now. So in this game here, you're going to look at the young buck quarterback going up against the older quarterback. So you're going to, the X factor for both these teams are going to be their quarterbacks. Whichever quarterback has a better game is essentially going to win this football game. The defenses don't matter in this one because I feel like they're going to continuously sling the football all over the field. I think the running backs are going to have their say as far as what they do, but it won't be a running back game. It's going to be whoever can connect the most passes and who has the most passing yards. If the Texans go down uh, fast, I feel like they can come back quickly because their air raid right now is, is one of the best air raids in the NFL. They're doing, they're doing everything from the screens. They're doing everything from the slants. They do everything from the play action with the bombs. Stroud is doing a little bit of everything and getting every single receiver on the field into the game. They don't focus on just one receiver, so that makes it tough for you to pinpoint, okay, who's going to get the ball this play? Who's, who are they going to? Because they're not just feeding one guy. They're feeding multiple people. The Jacksonville Jaguars have to work on their play calling on the offensive side of the ball because at times it becomes – Almost like, oh, we know what's coming. They're going to CJ uh, uh, Ridley. They're going to eat me. You have to mix it up a little bit more. Coach Dougie P has to be more creative. And I feel like with Trevor Lawrence, you can do that. Trevor Lawrence has not only the arm talent, but the, 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 the brains upstairs to break down the defense. I think um, from the Texans standpoint, they're going to have to find out which, which defense they want to use and blitz often to get to uh, Trevor Lawrence often. But when it's all said and done and all the smoke clears, this is a good old-fashioned football game, folks. I think this is one of the best games on Sunday, and I'm picking the Houston Texans to win this game. I feel like on, on all different fronts, they have advantages, and I think right now their playmakers are betting, are making better plays when it matters the most in prime time. I feel like C.J. Stroud is going to outperform Trevor Lawrence, and I feel like Eaton is going to perform, outperform any of the Texans running backs. But let's just be honest with you. The wide receiver core is going to do better than anything the Jacksonville Jaguars can give you as far as wide receiver production. So I'm talking about three or four guys versus one or two guys going off. So I'm picking the Texans to win. All you Texans fans get in the comment section. All you Jaguars fans get in the comment section. Definitely check out Sports Choice Plus for all the breakdowns and all the updates. And we'll see you in the very next video.